ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to War of the Exemplar. As always, I am D, and we're right back here in Paragon. This is a recorded game, so this is not a live cast, unfortunately. Epic, if you end up seeing this, please put in a timestamp on the live game so we know how long they've been going on. Because if you want people to cast this, it's hard to tell how long a game's been going on if we can't just by looking at the kill count. Or like, maybe have a starting soon section, I don't know. Just thoughts. I know this is open beta, I, I'm not complaining, I love this game, it's actually pretty fun. Anyway, let's get into the draft. Already we have a support pickup for red team in the form of the Fey, a very first pickup. Whereas blue have Gadget and Quang, so mid laner and potential jungler already. Picked up there. Red team's running out of time here, they're gonna... They end up picking a Fang Mao and a Twin Blast, so they've got their tank and a level 11, or a rank 11 Twin Blast. That's nuts. That's that's going to be a hard one to beat. Whereas, I have a rank 15 Murdoch picked up by Blue Team along with a rank 4 Grux. So Grux is probably going to be their jungler, Kwong is probably going to be their offlane tank, if he's not their support. Although I don't really know how good Kwong is as a support. We might actually have a bot on the red side, unfortunately, looking at that last person to pick. Also, Epic, we need to kind of get a, find a way to get rid of the draft screen while we're ca well, for casters. There might be a caster mode, I don't know. Last picks for red team. Lieutenant Bellica, so probably your mid laner, and Rampage is most likely your jungler. Final pick for blue is easily pick, locked in as a phase. There's your, there's your support, guys. So we got some good balanced teams going here. I don't know how long this game is, although I can check. As I said, this is not a this is a replay cast, so I can look whenever I want. Once we get into the game. All right, about twenty five minutes. Ooh, we actually have the one of the one of the special skins in the form of the Grux right there. Uh, one of the I think it's, it's like Blood Scarab. I don't know the exact name. I don't know all the skins offhand. Blue team already moving out. Looking like they want to secure their jungle. I'll go ahead and introduce the teams here. We got first off mid lane for blue team. We got Chainzy playing the gadget in the mid lane. Just kind of wandering around. Looks like might be, she might be heading into the right side jungle. In the left side jungle, starting in the four, in the core area for junglers, Golly 0816 on the Grux, PS Phoenix on the Quang, being their right, their off lane tanker. Enraged Perverse playing the Murdoch is their carry in the left lane by our count, and then supporting him is Schnitzel Smurf playing the phase. Meanwhile, carrying on the red team, we have Double Roo playing the Twin Blast. Shadow Ops Twin Blast, indeed. Good good skin. One moment. <coughs> Excuse me. User 47218 which I'm pretty sure is a bot. Oh, great. I just asked. Did I just? No, I didn't, actually. We're still on the early stages. Good. Again, we got to deal with that. Playing on the Rampage, anyway. For red team in the jungle. So fly playing the Bellica. Honestly, on playing the carry position in left lane alongside Twin Blast. So this support Bellica, support Twin Blast. They're I don't know double carry in the right in the on the left lane and so fly taking a or on the right lane. I'm sorry, so fly taking a ton of damage. Got a Russian name that I can't read playing in the left lane on the Fang Mao, and then mid lane Fey. Oh, that is an awesome banner. But a mid lane Fey is an interesting choice. Don't see that terribly often. Still no first blood. That said, the Fang Mao is actually taking has actually taken quite a bit of punishment, and he's up against. I mean, up against a Fey's Murdoch combo is pretty dangerous. Let's check cards real quick. Chain Z, Highwayman which gives you a bit of extra gold 
and also gives you some mana regen. So it's a good mid lane start tool. Also means that she's got a point in vitality. Golly, he's got Coin Master, which as you've seen in my videos, in my guide videos before, just gives you a little bit of extra money every few seconds. Phoenix, Coin Master, and Exoskeleton. Also seen them in a couple of my videos. I think mostly in the uh, Severog guide. Enrage Perverge has Call the Week, which I've talked about before. For those of you that don't know, Call the Week, when you get a minion below 20% of his HP, it automatically kills it when you hit it. So it's a great carry tool because it means you can get a lot of farm faster. Got a bit of a fight going on here. Schnetzel's probably going to go down here. It does have Exoskeleton on, though. So taking a bit less damage. ZXN Gallo fall falls for first blood. The Fey falls. Does have Call the Week, so should be able to get some farm going pretty quick again. Call the Week and Exoskeleton on for the Fang Mao, whose name I cannot read. So fly. Has a Coin Master and a Font of Experience. A Font of Experience I don't think I've talked about. It's It operates on the same principle as Coin Master, but instead of giving you money, it gives you free experience. Rampage has Call the Week and Coin Master in the jungle. And Double Roo has Coin Master on his Twin Blast. So a lot of Coin Master is going for this. This game, people really want, these people really want to go ahead and have the... I don't know what the Foliage button does, but anyway. These guys really want to have a lot of money going forward. Oh, Rampage has found Grux. And Grux, they're both good junglers, but Rampage is built for the jungle. His skill set is entirely built around it. You'll see that when we get to the guide video for him. Although, as I mentioned in my last... Oh. The Fang Mao actually gets a kill onto the Murdoch, but gets revenge killed by the Phase, Who actually has switched over to Possessed Spryken. Now, this is an interesting choice. Because I, uh, I mentioned that the Growth cards have Cultivate. The ability to get cheaper as you spend points. Death cards have a different ability. Each each of the f each of the five affinities has their own special ability. Invader Mage picked up by Chainzy, which is a good choice. Meanwhile the Murdoch gets a kill. Enrage Perverse gets a kill on the Rampage. Anyway, uh, death cards like per possess Spike in here are usually pretty powerful. Like it gives you good health regeneration, 120 health and 10 power, but you'll notice down here it says cursed. You cannot unequip possess Spike in once you got it on. It is with you the rest of the game. First tower to fall is Red Team Tower, I think. Yeah, Red Team Tower in the right lane. So yeah, Schnetzel Smurf is playing the is part of the problem with death cards like that that are that have the cursed modifier is that they they of course never go away. You can never get rid of it. Now, this is not bad, because some of them are actually pretty powerful. And in the early game especially, because a Sprite is going to be very useful. Problem is, again, Schnetzel might have a problem with getting rid of that. With, or not being able to. Red team tower in the left lane is gone. Blue team in the right lane is gone. I said red team originally, I'm sorry. The Fang Mao is taking a bit of a pounding. He's actually got green spring, so... He's got extra, he's got extra base armor. Extra physical armor. And once he's out of combat, he'll gain some good health regen. Meanwhile, the Grux, Grux and Gadget, are fighting for their lives here against the Twin Blast, the Bellica, and the Rampage. That's not a fight that I, anybody really wants if you're down by... You never, you never want to go down a man like that. We got four on three now here. The Kwong is here as well. Also, I did see a ward, but... Devil Root throwing out his grenades. He's trying to slow them down. The minions are going to come in. Oh, the Rampage has suddenly found himself surrounded by... Basically, the, yeah, the entire blue team is here, basically. He's got... He's bleeding out. He does have his ultimate up, but... Unfortunately, he's already been hit by Grux's ultimate. If Grux has his pullback ability... Although the Mother Tree is going to... With his ultimate, the Mother Tree is going to keep Rampage alive. Just long enough that he manages to get out. Bang Mao, just once again, off on, he's actually doing a good farming game here. He's off on his own, trying to stay alive. Devil Roo literally walks into his own base, isn't that far from the fountain, and just has to, and decides, I'm going to TP, I'm going to be back. Murdoch and FaZe 
way behind enemy lines here. PS Phoenix dropping his sword. Early rotation into the prime area, but it's mostly just a zoning, I think. PS Phoenix in the mid middle of it. He's got Rampage chasing him. He's also trying to chase down Bellica. There's the phase ultimate tree. The Murdoch falls. Looks like the Kwong's gonna be next. Yeah, he goes down. Ventilate coming out from the Twin Blast. Straight under the Grux. Jump forward from the Fang Mao, and there's the kill with the vi with the Vine Line. Uh, I don't know what that's called. A double kill for the Fey. Three down for nothing throughout that whole fight. Zaxxon Gallo, which is what I'm gonna go with for the Fey's name. Did take quite a bit of a pounding there, nearly died, but not quite. Just following the Fang Mao here for a second, as my camera goes. And we're back onto the, well, I just decided to jump back onto the Kwong. Actually, I didn't click on that, I hit control. Also, oh, good, he's, the Rampage has actually picked up Tyrant. Just like with Chimera, Tyrant is a great card for Rampage. Flame of Zetchin is an interesting one. Gives you 7 attack speed, but and it gives, has the Cultivate, so it gets cheaper. And it is expensive. Flame of Zetchin is very expensive, but what it does is, it has, it's activatable Flame of the Flame of Zetchin itself is an interesting ability, because every time you use it, it's a it's a lot like the uh, Glycerin Dawn card, which is a fireball, but it starts off lower. I think it starts at uh, like maybe a couple hundred damage. It might be more, I don't remember. But every time you use it, Flame of Zetchin gets stronger, but it it's only useful on minions. Back there you see him using it. Took about half that big minion's health off in one blast. Chainzy has picked up Coinmaster as well. Zaxxon Gallo does die, does have Invader Mage and Armored Footman. Armored Footman just gives a chance to block damage. I think it's 20, it'll block 20% of damage on a one in, like a 1 in 6 chance. Nitro Boost, Guard Piercer, Call the Weak on the Murdoch. These are some good cards for Murdoch because he's all about using that rifle. His ultimate Long Arm of the Law is actually very important, but it's all for that you gotta have vision. Phase comes through with the with her beam attack. Gadget with the with the electric gate. The bomb is on the Fang Mao. They got a scanner on him, and he might make it out of this, because Fang Mao is actually dip, difficult to kill, but ooh, Enrage Perverse actually gets that one. Doing a quick card check. Growth Totem and Vital Waters. So Grux is playing the long health game. He wants to be able to survive everything. He's just gonna keep getting stronger and have amplified healing, so every healing, all the healing he does, or gets, is increased. He's also got a ton of extra health. PS Phoenix, still has just green spring and exoskeleton. We already checked out Enrage Perverse on the Murdoch, who is just taking shots against the Rampage right now. Still possessed Spryken, green spring, now up also on our phase player. We talked about that already. I think phase plays a lot like Io or the Wisp from Dota, just minus the teleportation ability. The rock flies out from the from the rampage, actually clips and hits the gadget and secures the kill for the Fang Mao. Nitro Boost, Green Spring, and Growth Totem on Twin Blast. Surprise on Growth Totem. I mean Twin Blast is squishy as all hell, but you normally don't think of him as getting more health. Rampage has just added Growth Totem to Flame of Zetchin and Tyrant. Font of Experience and Coin Master still on Bellica, but also picked up Astral Leap. Oh, never mind, just threw it away. Astral Leap is the, is the blink ability. It's, for those of you who play League of Legends, it is your flash. For those of you that play Dota, it is the blink dagger. For those of you that play Smite, it's just called blink, I think. For those of you that play Heroes of New Earth, I have no idea what it's called because I never played Han. Not that I didn't like Not that I didn't like it, I just never tried it. The Grux actually gets pulled out by the Phase, who's firing off her laser. Growth Totem and Exoskeleton on the Fang Mao, along with Numbing Rogue. I mentioned this in the Chimera Guide last week. Gives you some power, gives you some basic armor, and has a debuff aura. If you... Oh, great, I just skipped a long way ahead. I don't know where we are anymore. Okay, uh... Alright, I'm gonna cut out the part where I have to find where I am. Alright, sorry about that, folks. 
like I said, this where you end up mousing over and somehow getting this and accidentally clicking on this, that is just that needs to be changed. Maybe put that maybe put the timer up here across the top or across the bottom epic, but not right in the middle of the screen, especially when I can rotate my camera with a middle click and hold. Anyway, numbing rogue, what it does is it has a good strong debuff aura. It slows the attack speed of all enemies around you in a large radius. Occasionally you'll see him pulse purple in the ground, I think, if it worked, if I'm remembering that right. That is the the size and area of the debuff aura. Anyway, Zaxxon Gallo. Add, add Call of the Week, has Invader Mage and Armored Footman. Like I said, Armored Footman just has you, gives you a chance to block damage. We are only about ha we're actually about a little over halfway through the game. It's good to know. Like I said, Paragon games actually tend to go pretty quick, mostly because a lot of people play them more like third-person shooters. <clears throat> I think. So if there was any glitch there, folks. <clears throat> red, red team has just lost their middle tier one. <clears throat> so they've only got one tier one left, and that's on the right lane. Currently, we just have... We have people just running around, mostly getting in. Some farming in. <clears throat> Old camp is actually about to spawn over here, so. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds a little funny, I'm trying to clear my throat. Blue team, have they lost hours or just one? <clears throat> Two now. Both tier ones on right and left lane. It is good to see some people playing more support characters like FaZe. Because, I mean, that's one problem a lot of people have in Dota and other games is that nobody wants to play support. So, Bastion announcer pack says in Dota 2, nobody likes to play support, but everybody likes to win. Murdoch does actually have the multi-shot gem there. Thing though, in the jungle, helping out ramp. I say, Rampage eventually is able to take on the Raptors by himself. Twin Blast actually falls to, I think that was a gadget, it's, ooh, has Finder of Playthings picked up now. Unholy Gaze is a big slow, a big activatable slow. All, all tier ones are down for red team. I was gonna say, Bellica fall, but the Kwong fell. I don't know. 
double kill for the Murdoch on the Rampage as well, but I don't remember. I didn't see who killed the, f the Kwong. Growth Totem, Coin Master, and Thorned Yomi. Don't actually know what Thorned Yomi does aside from the power and basic armor you see there. Heavy Piercer and Cult a Week. This is a very strong Murdoch build. This is actually similar to what I use. Eventually you want to ditch Cult a Week for something like uh, Shatter Golem or I probably use uh, Death Crawler. Although with Death Call, you have, I eventually have to pick up an attack speed buff. Faye does pick up double kill there. Take, takes down. Oh wait, no. Uh, Sofly actually got the kill on the Grux. Where's the move by the Faye? Zax and Gala. Who's now got Stagnant Dominion. Death and Order cards. I'm playing a black white deck. An interesting choice. Stagnant Dominion, it does give you power and some good mana regen, but every time you damage somebody, it gives them a, a slow debuff, like a movement slow. So for those of you that play League, it's your Crystal Scepter. Can't remember what it would be in Dota. There is a Dota item that does it, I just don't remember what it is. Vital Water's Numbing Rogue still up on the Fang Mao. Only Coin Master and Font of Experience up on the Bellica, apparently. Still the heavy regen health build for the Rampage. That's the three towers. Rampage is still just taking tons of damage, leaps into the jungle. Looking like he was aiming for the Grux, but missed it. He should hit a rock, but not much damage from it. The Murdoch and the Feng Mao go at it. The Feng Mao wins that fight, which is a surprise, a bit of a surprise. I'm fighting against the Rampage and the Feng Mao. Meanwhile, the Grux dies on the back line. Fang Mao takes down Kwong. They're moving on to the phase. It's the phase and the gadget versus the entire red team, and now it's just the gadget. That was a brutal fight, really. And now there's four pushing in the mid lane. And Gadget all on her own. She's not built for this kind of stuff. And she hasn't built anything else for this kind of stuff. That's the mid tier 2 down. First tier 2 to fall. Not the first time to take them to fall. Red team pushing in on the, on the mid tier 3 tower. Which, remember, used to be called the inhibitor. But there it goes. Blue team has lost the tier 3, the first tier 3 of the game, which means red team has super minions spawning down the down, min, down middle lane. And red team is actually doing the smart thing. They're backing off here, maybe make a move onto the, onto the prime. Rampage is definitely thinking the prime, but he's going to go ahead and recall, actually. Nope. Kwong doing his best to try and push back in top lane, uh, top lane, right lane. But when I cast these games, I'm working on left, middle, right lane. So I'm looking at the, I, I do use the mini-map for this, although I, you can rotate the mini-map, so. Finder of playthings is off for the gadget. Grux has moved in of... I forget what his mid card was, but now he's got Unbroken Spirit, which gives you... Every time you take ability damage, it gives you some good health regen. Along with giving you power, health, and ability armor. Although he's being chased, he might be in trouble here. Nope, he's gonna be fine. Sw PSP, uh, PS Phoenix has swapped out... Don't remember swapped it for Guard Piercer, so not a bad choice. Shatter Golem and Heavy Hitter now on for Murdoch, which means he's going to be hitting very, very hard. Especially critical hits go off. Schnetzel. Still possess Sprite in, of course, because you can't get rid of that. Growth Totem and Vital Waters. Not sure. Not bad choice. Still the rather odd health pool building for Twin Blast, who is going on the Kwong. 
Gonna get that kill. Kwong falls. Nothing new there on the rampage. I don't think this is right with the Bellica. Although, 24.3 health regen. How exactly? That's gotta be a mistake. Nothing new on these guys. Red team takes down the tier 2 in the on the right lane. And they water 3. There's gotta be a... This has gotta be an error then. Because Bellica... Either an error or the health regen is an error. Because 123 health per second is insane. Bellica and Feng Mao push the... Push blue team back to their fountain. And they're going on the... They can already go on the core. They've gotten down two of the tier 3s. They cannot move on the final one because the tier 2 still stands. But with two two lanes pushing in with... Super Blue core is already at 80% and falling. Feng Mao's on it. Twin Blast and Bellica have joined him. Rampage... Well, this is looking like it's going to be game, folks. The Rock stuns, and that's the game. Red team wins it. I wonder if we're gonna actually get the little little and the little ending cinematic. I don't think we are. But Red Team walks away with this one, folks. Hope you enjoyed. If you comment down below, you can also subscribe if you want to follow me and never miss any of these episodes or any of my guides, or any of my other series for that matter. And let's hopefully get some some better done on this folks although apparently you can record this to youtube i don't know or you can go i can go live but anyway folks again as always i've been d red team walks away with the second win with the win with the win in week two of war of the exemplars so good night good gaming